Hello Oracle Database world, this is Justin, and in this Oracle Database YouTube video tutorial, I'm going to show you that you, that you have to be careful when you're naming objects such as variables and whatnot in PLSQL code, because you have to be careful not to use um, Oracle reserved words. Oracle has words which are reserved, and they cannot be used for any other purpose than what Oracle mandates that they're used for. Now this is a basic PLSQL program and tutorial. Um, so what is PLSQL? Well, PLSQL is spelled PL forward slash SQL. And uh, the PL, PLSQL is specific and proprietary to Oracle database, the Oracle database. SQL, structured query language, is a standard. Okay, it's a standard among all RDBMS, relational database management system software products. Okay, and it's used, it's a standard used to manipulate data in a database. So the PL part of PLSQL procedure language is Oracle specific, and the SQL is um, not Oracle specific, but collectively PL slash SQL is an Oracle program and language. And the PLSQL engine is located in the Oracle database kernel, okay, and uh, it's executed within Oracle, okay. So it's not a standalone program and language like C, where you just compile a program and then you can use the executable on any computer as long as it was compiled for that compiled for that specific platform, or Java, which um, is also a standalone program per se, because as long as you have the Java Virtual Machine JRE installed on your system, you can use that as well on any system, basically. PLSQL is not like that. It requires the Oracle database. It runs within the Oracle database. And the compiler is actually in the Oracle database. Now, PL extension, Oracle's PL extension to SQL, which is PLSQL collectively, adds programming logic and programming language features to the Oracle database, such as uh, condition testing with if statements and uh, until loops, for loops, uh, while loops, things like that, function calls, output, whatever, whatever you want to do. Okay, and I have seen um, full end-user applications written entirely in PLSQL. So, but this specific video is a basic PLSQL tutorial which shows you that you cannot use reserved, what have, uh, that shows you that you need to be very careful when um, selecting what names you're going to use in your program because they cannot be words which Oracle designate for other functions. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and let's set our Oracle SID to finance. Let's make sure we're set properly. Finance. And let's connect to our database by SQL Plus. Okay, once connected, let's do a show user to ensure we're connected as a sysdba, sys. And let's type in select name from v dollar sign database, like so. And we see we're connected to the finance database. Now, let's go ahead and let's um, write a PLSQL anonymous block, okay? Now, there are two types of PLSQL programs, a named program or named block, and an anonymous program or anonymous block, whatever you want to call it. Um, named blocks are is are PLSQL programs whose source code is stored in the database itself. It's stored in the system table space in the data dictionary. And you can recall it more than once at any time because the code is already there. Anonymous code um, or unnamed code is code that you just execute once and you'd have to enter it manually every time to run it. And that's what we're doing here. And when you do that, if you're PLSQ, if you're make, writing that anonymous code like we're doing in this tutorial, and you need Oracle or SQL Plus more specifically to output, if you use an output, if you're going to display something to this console here and you want it to be, and you want Oracle to display it, you would type in the, you have to type in the following prior to writing and running your PLSQL program. You type in set server output on. Set server output one string on. Now we go ahead and we start our first block, which is declare because we're going to set our variable. And let's go ahead and let's set the variable, I don't know, let's call it exception. And let's give it a variable, a, a data type of our car. Remember, it's a database. And let's set the value of the variable exception with the colon equals to single quote, my name, Justin. I don't know why I would be in error, but hey, whatever. Now we type in begin. Now, in our main section, if you will, of the PLSQL program, we're going to display the value of the exception um, va variable by typing in dbms underscore output 
dot put underscore line exception. We're going to end our program and we're going to run our program. Oops, we get a button, we get um, Oracle throws up and Oracle says, enter the symbol exception, encounter the symbol exception when expecting one to follow. So it's, it's expecting it to, it's expecting you to actually code what an exception does. Exception is actually a PLSQL reserved word. Okay, it's used to do something in PLSQL. Okay, just like begin is and end is. Okay, so it's not going to work. So to give you another example, let's recall our code. And let's set, let's try to set our variable to begin. Want to out? We want the value of begin. Again, you get an error because begin is a reserved word, so we can't use begin as our variable name because begin is. Look at it. We use it here. It's a, it's a reserved word, and apparently exception is a reserved word because when we try to use it as our variable name in this program block, we get an error as well. So. That being the case, we just have to pick another, um, something that's not a reserved word. Okay? And we can use, instead of begin, we'll just use the letter B. And that works, displaying the value of B, which is Justin, because B is not a reserved word. So, careful with the, with what you, the identifiers that you use, we'll call them, to, um, your variable names and things like that, because guess what? Uh, if they're a reserved PLSQL Oracle word, Oracle won't let you use